Question 30 came from the improving performance option that we studied. We're going to look at question A here. And it says, discuss the initial planning considerations that are needed to prepare for a season involving an elite sporting team. So a couple of things here. The initial planning considerations to prepare for a season involving an elite sporting team. And this question is worth eight marks. Students didn't need to mention a team, the Sydney Roosters, Manchester United. They didn't have to do that. What, and you just, but you just had to mention elite sports of an elite sporting team. So you didn't have, you could, you're more than welcome to go ahead and pick a team, as long as it was an elite team, but you had to at least mention elite sporting team. Remember we're talking about the initial planning considerations. Let's go have a look at our syllabus here. What you'll see, this is the biggest concern for this question, was initial planning considerations. That's what was needed, but a number of students confused it with this one, planning a training year. Question has nothing to do with phase of competition, pre-season, in-season, off-season, sub-phases, peaking and tapering. However, a number of students wrote about that. You need to talk about initial planning considerations in relation to an elite sporting team. So what are the performance and fitness needs, both individual and team, of an elite sporting team? That's what you need to do. We're going to have a look at our question here, our sample. Straight away, it leads into the answer by going... For an elite sporting team, initial planning considerations need to be prepared in order to have an effective season. When initially planning aspects such as the performance and fitness needs, first area of the syllabus, that's exactly what we needed. Then the student goes through and talks about what that involved and the impact that it would have on an elite sporting team. With examples to go with it, elite athletes, tactics and skills, Example, in an NRL team, practicing certain set plays, grubbering for the winger, etc., etc. Okay, that's what we're talking about. We go to the second area of the syllabus. Let's have a look. It's back to the syllabus. So we just talked about performance and fitness needs, schedule of events, competitions, the schedule of events and competitions. There's our second area. Should also be taken into account the elite athletes. Going back to the question. That's what it's asking us to do, you know, relate this to an elite sporting team. So the elite athletes should work around certain events or matches during the competitions that are important. Allow them to be prepared for the schedule of events. Example, in an NRL season begins in March, then the team needs to ensure that they are ready by March to perform well during the season. Third section of our syllabus, climate and season. The climate and season also play an important role when initially planning. Using the syllabus terminology here, the climate can affect the team's performance, so it's important that the elite team, again, he's got the, part, the parts of the question in his answer. Similar to the competition, so that their bodies adapt and are able to perform. And an NRL team, we know that an NRL team is going to be elite. He hasn't said roosters or eels or the dragons, he's just put in an NRL team. Should ensure they practice in the heat and the rain in order for them to be ready to perform in these different conditions that they're going to get. And that's why... This question's very, very good. He's gone through, he's got the specific three areas of the syllabus that required. He's also been able to include examples with them and relate to an elite sporting team. The big issues, as I mentioned a couple of times with this question already, is that students confuse this area of the syllabus with planning a training year. We're going to have a look at that again. Initial planning considerations, planning a training year. So this is when I, we get you to write out the syllabus dot points over and over again. This is to prevent this from happening. You wrote about planning a training year, cannot get any marks. Most students were able to include an elite sporting team, which was what the question asked us to do, which was good. And they're also able to give examples to support their answer. But the big concern was the confusion over the dot point here. Initial, read the questions, understand your syllabus content. 